Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well trained to be increasingly back. They've closed the road to Randalar. If the siege breaks, they'll need more than this to stop the Imperial Legions marching on the capital. Oh, I'm done for. I can't get these goods to Randalar. Everyone else fleeing the fool in the If you haven't got a pass, you're not getting on through. to help. Please! I'm begging you! Headed over to the Crystalline Dominion too, are you? There's good gill to be made there, believe you me. Yeah. The minute I heard them bandits have blown up Drake's Fang, I packed up my store and pulled me boots on. And so did you, eh? I did have a plan to make me fortune with some baths down by the dollar mill in. How can anybody sit back and relax in a land that ain't got a whiff of the crystal's blessing no more? And that's when it hit me. If you're looking for a lucre, the Dominion's the place to be. Soon enough, half a storm will be headed there. If I can get in first and set up shop, I'll have a license to mint Gil. The Guildmasters at Canva will be beggars by comparison. I'll be famous in all four quarters of storm soon enough, and I'll have a fortune that'll make me ma and pa proud. All right, headed over to the Crystalline Dominion too, are you? There's good Gil to be made there. Making for the Crystalline Dominion. 
Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. No crystals here. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Porter for hire. Best service. This is everything. It must be transparent. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. And nasty. Hurry, man. I must leave for the Dominion post haste. I am hurrying, my lord. Scooping up all the best customers. Leave some for the rest of us. Well met. You've a discerning eye. Farewell. I wish to engage the Crimson Caravan services. Where's the proprietress? She's otherwise engaged at present, my lord. Come back later. I wish to engage the Crimson Caravan services. Not all. I heard Lord Kupka fell too. The Republic's not long for this world, if you ask me. Drake's fangs fallen, would you believe it?
out of my sight, wretch! Peaches and pears, beets and beans. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh... How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. But you're more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. Have you got a trader's pass? No? Then fuck off. Have you got a trader's pass? No? Then fuck off. Remember when half the people coming through here were traders from... Go and bother someone else, will you? I've got my trader's pass and I'll be leaving as soon as I'm able. If I stay here much longer, I'll end up no better off than those poor sods by the gates. Go and bother someone else, will you? I've got my trader's pass and I'll be leaving as soon as I'm able. If I stay here much longer, I won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Caravan stops next to the checkpoint. On your way. Juicy pears! Slake your thirst without a crystal! Oh, good. There you are. Clive, I I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, good. Just tell us what happened. It's me traders pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Here. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> Nowhere. I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Go to the Crimson Caravans and ask for the owner. It's the place with the red chocobo on the sign. Big red chocobo. Go to the Crimson Caravans and ask for... Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other one, our purses. Jug of snake spit for the road? Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Don't go, El. He's me mate. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Bocklad? <laughs> I 
I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little band could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then... We can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants, which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um. Yeah, but I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. We've formed something of a merchant's guild to get to the bottom of our pickpocketing problem. The furniture maker by the coach stop is gathering the reports. We've formed something of... I looked through the rest of me stuff, and uh, now else was missing, just me pass. But that was the only thing that really mattered. We can't ride the caravan without it. But it's not as if I'm getting another. It was hard enough getting this one. Oh, please, Clive, you've got to help us get it back. You me only hope. I looked through the rest of me stuff, and uh, now else was missing.
Not good snake spit for the road. The caravan stops next to the trick. Juicy pears! Snake your first without a crystal. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and a wee's collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. Have a word with the fishmonger back there, by the gate. She's been looking into who the culprits might be. Have a word with the fishmonger back there, by the gate. She's been looking into him. I'll take the large one. Come, taste my peaches. They're sweet as nectar. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be... Fish for sale. Fresh sorted and smoked. Can I interest you in... Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know, then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? The little scamps you'll see running around here might be naughty, but I don't see any of them being involved in this. Still, they might have heard something. Can't hurt to ask. The little scamps you'll see running around here might be naughty, I don't Go and bother someone else, will you? I've got my trader's pass, and I'll be leaving as soon as I'm able. If I stay here much longer, I'll end up no better off than those poor sods by the gates. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop you. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. Anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Sorry. I'll leave you alone. Oh, just leave me alone. Oh, just leave me alone. Come and taste my peaches. They're sweet as nectar. Did you hear about the Empire's black shields? Apparently, they've been going around Imperial lands stringing up bearers. <sighs> what a waste! Did you hear about the Empire's black shields? Apparently, they've been going around Imperial lands stringing up bearers. <sighs> what a waste! <sighs> Excuse me. What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he, he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. 
Thank you. You've been very helpful. He'll probably be by the tents. You... you won't hurt him, will you? He'll probably be by the tents. You... Come you won't on, hurt him, will you? Peaches and pears! Peaches and pears! Let me carry your goods! I'm cheap! That's that, then. She must have met the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Daddy... I'm hungry. <laughs> that big, fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these... charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter, where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. You can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. Do it again. We promise. I'll watch these two. You go after Honda. I'll watch these two. You go after Honda. Daddy! I'm hungry. That's that, then. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. The chocobo pen's back there. I don't know if it's the same lad who stole from you, but that's where he was headed. The chocobo pen's back there. I don't know if it's the same lad who stole from you, but that's where he was headed. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Peaches and pears. Peaches and pears. This is everything. It must be transported. Oh, shit! Cornered! It's all right, Hunter. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Not like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but bro doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time, before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hunter. You found him, then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you Him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the cast stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brute. Where did you get it? 
What does this feel? <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Balklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders passed back, and I make Boklad a safe place again. All right then. All right then. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then? Laney's cleft is to the south, past the camp. You can do it, Clive! It looked like they were about to turn into Laney's cleft before they spotted me. You... It looked like they were about to turn into Laney's cleft before they spotted me.
Bad haul today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural ball ne'er do wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. That guard from Portland! Kill him! Kill them all! And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Goose's pass will be in here somewhere. It might take a while to find it, though. You should go back to Boglad and give my sister the good news. Goose's pass will be in here somewhere. It might take a while to find it, though. You should go back to Boglad and give my sister the good news. Ah, Clive. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. 
that of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is pass. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way, then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly, would it now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. What is it? El has friends in high places, while I have associates in, uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's pass should secure you a place on the caravan, but if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say... Nine million? We'll... try the caravan. And it's on to the Dominion. Something I can help you with? Why I am what you see. It can be a risky business. This being a border town, Or at least, it did. Don't worry about Honza and the others. Best of luck, Sid. And how might the Crimson Caravan serve you today? And I wouldn't have it any other way. All the better. <sighs> Fools, the lot of them. Criminals and cowards. So thank you. Farewell then.
me carry your goods. I'm Pardon me, but would you happen to be a fighter? That well-notched steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. And I require a rugged companion, lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er-do-wells or the beasts said to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? But... Very well. It is your loss, I suppose. That might oh. well and should well. My arms are yours. Wonderful! Then come! We must away. But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis Road. And from there, onward to discovery. Quickly! There is not a moment to lose! Wait. <sighs> Good luck with your ne'er-do-wells. I'd better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. <sighs> if I knew where I was. Now I just need to see you about getting the word out to everyone. We'd be rich. <sighs> I want to know right away. Bad news. Good, actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating, if you don't mind me asking? I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their throats. So I've heard. Oh. So you know of it, then? Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Oh. Well, I suppose a few more days won't spoil it. Would you... Sounds simple enough. So you'll do it? Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. There's Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the north gate. Three of the finest fellows in Bocklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. There are plenty of hard-working folk here in Boklad, but my three friends deserve a tipple more than most. You let them know there's a cup of fine wine waiting for them when they're ready. There are plenty of hard-working folk here in Boklad. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. 
Oh, well, um, you give my regards to Eloise if you see her. I uh, was not. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. I can't imagine there are too many grey-haired cell swords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. Whatever left poor Joseph Grey didn't leave him jaded. Kind-hearted man like him doesn't deserve to meet his end, chasing thieves. Whatever left poor Joseph Grey didn't leave him jaded. Kind-hearted man like him doesn't deserve... Hurry, man. I must leave for the Dominion post-haste. I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Breck. From the Empire to Boklad. You must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route at the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. They'd Sauraflam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. Most men would keep a fine vintage like a Gotan 66 to themselves. But not our innkeeper. He's a true gent, that one. Most men would keep a fine vintage like a Gotan 66 to themselves. Our That's that, then. <laughs> there are no crystals here. Keep going. What do you want? I've no coin on me. Just information. Has a sellsword passed through here? Grey hair. Now you mention it, there was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back. Which way did he go? I... How am I supposed to know? Bugged off down the road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same and leave me be? not, good sir. Thanks to your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Now, feast your eyes upon the marvel before us. Ruins, a relic of the fallen civilization. A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels, dashed from the very heavens. Airships, we call them with very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock 
cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. But merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. He's passionate. I'll give him that. We don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for someone. A grey-haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rocks. Those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. Shush, now. You've said quite enough already. I only told him what you said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. I know Mum was only trying to scare me, but I'm not afraid of goblins. Not the little ones, anyway. I know Mum was only trying to scare me, but I'm not afraid of goblins. Joseph's thieves really lock their stolen wares all the way out here. I think we found our thieves. I know they'll look happy to see me. I'm hurt, Torko. Let's get this over with. Stop! Don't kill him, he's just protecting his home. Joseph? So the boy was right? I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know what that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. 
Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found that cozy little homestead and all the missing food. I launched myself at them full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them, and earned their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boglad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot have sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'd always thought of goblins as mindless savages. But if I'm honest, I like them better than half the men I've served with. I'd always thought of goblins as mindless savages. Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. No doubt Joseph had quite the adventure. I look forward to hearing all the details when he gets back. No doubt Joseph had quite the adventure. Best service at the best... And how might the Crimson Caravan serve? Farewell, then. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Peaches and pears. Caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Are you Milan, the butcher? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclay clearly isn't suffering, then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. My old man knew what he was about when he set up shop here all those years ago. Anyway, thanks for the good news. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut up shop early. Wouldn't want to keep our friend waiting. I've been keeping a cut of something special by for just such an occasion. I've been keeping a cut of something special by for just such an occasion. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Let us through! I'm looking for Bolek. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you've found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it. The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought he might like a cup. I've never said no to a goat hand. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. He must be a busy man. The market would be flooded with refugees if we weren't here to stem the flow. 
Oh, my heart goes out to them, all right, but we've got our orders. No papers, no passage. Plenty try to slip past us nonetheless. And every now and then, one of them's foolish enough to try and force their way through. And when they do, well, things can get nasty. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. Well done. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. There's nothing like a good drink to drown your sorrows. No one knows sorrow like us gate guards. There's nothing like a good drink to drown your sorrows. I spoke to your friends. They'll be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we all sat down together. And the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Aldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bollock, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Bocklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Right. I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A Gotan 60 bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, but it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous in many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word spoken. Poor sod. And for a handful of coins at that. Ah, oh, you were right to stay your bastard captain's hand. More bloodshed is the last thing we need in these dark days. I owe these remarkable gentlemen more than a few paltry cups of wine. Even if it is the finest wine in all of Velisphere. <laughs> I owe these remarkable gentlemen more than a- Oh, there's nothing like a cup or five of good wine to wash away the aches of the road. Oh, there's nothing like a cup or five. I hear the brothers found another victim. Can you believe it? I believe it. Ah, a soldier like yourself could do with hearing this. If ever you see a couple of brothers up in Leighton's cleft, you just pass them right on by. And why is that? Because they're duplicitous bastards who make catthroats and footpads look like upstanding citizens by comparison. What they do is befriend a passing merchant, someone new to the area, and steer them straight into the arms of bandits. The merchant dead and his murderers busy bickering over the poor bastard's wares the brothers set to sweet-talking some other unsuspecting fool, a warrior. Now, the brave soul charges into the footpad's den, thinking he's doing the realm a favour. And when he's done, the brothers sweep in and loot the bandits and dead merchant both. Yeah, there's a lazy sort of cunning to it, I suppose. You'd think they'd run out of bandits eventually. So close to Bocklad? Not bloody likely. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Anyway, 
If you run into them, you steer clear. Or better yet, give them a damn good hiding. <sighs> I really wish I had. Thanks for the warning. Kill the poor sword. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Crystals here. We have to keep <sighs> to get yourself killed oh that would not do that would not do at all not when such majesty stretches out before us behold the final sin in all its glory as moss tells us a battle was fought here in ancient times a battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged in reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods, and great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time, though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward, history awaits.
Still in one piece? It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my ramblings. Glad to help, but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. You see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. Truly, knowledge is a gift all the greater when shared. Thank you, once again. Truly, Knowledge is a gift all the greater when she... Eloise and Theodore seem like dependable allies. It's just a shame they didn't learn our secret sooner. Goots and Karen have known them long enough. Eloise and Theodore seem like dependable allies. A seed of ingenuity. He cracked the crystal too. You're joking. Hugo Kupka's dead, isn't he? They told me she was building a ship. Sounds like Goots's friends were in the same trade as us. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a bit of healthy competition. Sounds like Goots's friends were in the same trade as us. <laughs> Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Here's everything we've received and everything promised. 